What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Beware Basson coming at you again with another one. Back in the car, on the road, driving. We're gonna go to Newburgh right now. Gonna see if we can get on some crappie, do a little catch and cookie. Um, I stopped at Cabela's to grab some crappie stuff. Uh, I stopped at a pond before that and caught a bedfish. That was pretty sweet. But uh, heck yeah, we're gonna get on this road. We're gonna get some food and we're gonna go. Let's get this done. Catch some crappie, do a little catchy cookie. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little notification bell. Hi there, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, and yourself? I'm great, thank you for asking. How can I help you? Can I get a medium number one? Single stack. Okay. And that'll do it. Um, and drink. Strawberry Fanta. Alright. And because you got a combo today, would you like to try one of our freshly baked cookies for 99 cents? No, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Alrighty. That it. That's it. 809. Thank, thank you. you. Got us our Dave single. Trying to eat and go fishing. Alright, we made it. Let's see if any of these crappies are down here. Alright. So, all I'm doing here is a copy jig on a jig head, on an ultralight, so I can really feel that bite. Little 2500 Sienna um, Shimano reel. I think this is like four pound test. Really helps you to feel that bite. I'm just trying to drop it down next to these pillars right here. These pillars right here. And let these fish pick it up. A lot of the times they're picking it up on the drop. If the bite gets tough to where all these fish are staying little, I'll slap on some crappie nibble. But you'll feel the little thump. Sometimes you'll even see it and start to take your rod tip down because the rod tip is so light they can't feel it. Give it a jiggle every now and then, pull it back, get closer to the dock, nothing happens. I'll walk it down to this other pillar, see if we can get bit in between them. Yep, there's bite. Oh, he dropped it. Picked it back up though. There we go. I think I might have caught this fish already. Somebody has. Really easy process. Drop your jig head down. You can use one or two. Some people like to go tandem. I'm just using one. It's just easier. Drop it down. Let it drop. My bait stopped going down, so I knew I had a fish on. And you'll see your line going down. Another little crappie. You'll see your line going down as you let the line out of your reel, out of your bail. You'll see it going down the water. If it just stops abruptly, 
and you probably got a fish on. Or you've hit bottom. I think it'll get bigger than that though. These guys are little dinkers. There's fish on there right now. There we go. That's a better one. We'll add him to our collection. He's not giant, but he's better fish. That way we'll have at least two. All right. Let's see if he has any brethren's down here. There's a fish on it right now. Oh, he dropped it. You'll just feel the slightest of tap sometimes. Sometimes these fish are just real finicky. Sometimes they'll eat it and pull it all the way down. I got one. That one ate it a little better. Alright guys, so we got us the high by 20 crappie. I'm gonna go to the house, get baby Jordan, get Ashton, get the wife, cook them up. I don't think they'll be involved in this one, but I'm gonna go home, cut them up, cook them up, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So, stay tuned. It's like fresh right from the water straight to the house cut immediately put in a pan with a little jacket on it you know yummy here's our whole fish okay huh? oh we're gonna eat the best piece first tail mm. oh yeah baby yeah baby 
cracked his fish open. Look at that. Still all white flaky meat. Yes. Look at it steaming. That's how you can tell. I just pulled it off. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Look at that. Yes. That's about to be bomb. It's just like any other fish. Bones will fall right out. There we go. Put a little piece of skin on there. I scaled it so there should be no scales. There should be no problem eating it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the way most people do it. Is they leave the whole fish there. My daddy likes it that way. Personally, I like them filleted, but when I don't have the time, or I'm just being lazy, I'll do it this way. <clears throat> Cajun season got a little kick. But nevertheless, guys, make sure you hit a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your mama, tell your daddy, because they all need to know how to cook crappie and how to catch them as well. Till next time, I am Beware Bassin, otherwise known as Jordan Bayless. And I'm out. Doses! Well, forgot my crappie box at home. So, I gotta wait for Cabela's to open up now. Because I need some crappie jig heads. But in the meantime, there's a little pond down the street from Cabela's. Let me go see if we can catch one out of it. Oh, here's a bass right here. Right freaking here. He has a bed right here because he has a he's pretty locked. Oh, just spooked him just a little. It looks like a small mouth. Missed him. Shoot, there's two of them down there. <laughs> he was swimming off with it. Hey, they're on bed. These two fish are on a bed. I can still see them down there. They're right in front of me. Feet in front of me. We're gonna catch them too, watch this. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. All I had to do is change to a sinkhole. That's a nice fish for this little pond. Well, that's good to know. My line broke. <laughs> cool thing is, there's another one down there. My line broke. Change to a Senko. Whack this guy. Man, patience. That took time. Just switched to a Senko and as soon as it hits the water, got on his bed, he was pissed. That's like a two and a half pounder. That's a nice fish for this pond. Holy cow. I'm gonna take a picture and then we're gonna let her go. I'm gonna put her right back in right down here so she gets to go home right back to her bed. All right, I'm gonna let this fish go right back down here. I can't walk down here because it's all mud. So I'm just going to toss her out here. But the reason we don't keep these fish and take them to other places and move them to other places is because we want them to go back to their bed and be able to create their fry later on, dude. Create their fry and do their thing. So I always try to put them back 
right where I caught them. That way they don't uh, lose their fry and the bluegill come over and eat all their fry and then there's no more bass in this pond. But uh, that was a chunk for this pond, guys. This pond is, it's not known for it's bass fishing. It's not known for anything besides ducks. But to find two bit fish on a bed and catch them, heck yeah.